हेलो वेलकम टू टूडेज टॉपिक हंड्रेड ऑर्थोपेडिक एम जी क्यू पार्ट वन मूविंग टू आवर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ओरिजिन ऑफ द बॉन इज फ्रॉम ऑप्शन ए एक्टोडर्म ऑप्शन बी मीसोडर्म ऑप्शन सी एंडोडर्म ऑप्शन डी ऑल ऑफ दैप एंड द आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी मीसोडर्म मूविंग टू आवर सेकेंड क्वेश्चन क्ले शोवर्स फ्रैक्चर इज कॉमनली ओकोरिंग ऑप्शन ए लेमिना ऑफ द सी सेवन ऑप्शन बी ट्रांसफर्स प्रोसेस ऑफ द सी सेवन ऑप्शन सी एंडीरियर लॉन्जिट्यूडल लिगमेंट ऑप्शन डी स्पाइनस प्रोसेस ऑफ द सी सेवन एंड द आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी स्पाइनस प्रोसेस ऑफ द सी सेवन मूविंग टू अवर थर्ड क्वेश्चन ए ग्रीन स्टिक फ्रैक्चर ऑप्शन ए ओकोस चीफली इन द एल्डरली ऑप्शन बी डस नॉट ओकोर इन चिल्ड्रेन ऑप्शन सी इज ए स्पाइरल फ्रैक्चर ऑफ द ट्यूबुलर बॉन ऑप्शन डी इज ए फ्रैक्चर वेर द पार्ट ऑफ द कॉटेक्स इज इंटैक्ट एंड द पार्ट इज ट्रिम्पल्ड और क्रैक्ट एंड द आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी इज ए फ्रैक्चर वेर द पार्ट ऑफ द कॉटेक्स इज इंटैक्ट एंड द पार्ट इज ट्रिपल्ड और क्रैक्ट Moving to our fourth question, spiral fracture is due to option A, blend trauma; option B, axial compression; option C, twist; option D, direct impact. And the answer is option C, twist. Moving to our fifth question, myositis ossificans is common in option A, hip. Option B, knee. Option C, elbow. Option D, shoulder. And the answer is option C, elbow. Moving to our sixth question. In Saturday night paralysis, the type of nerve lesion. Option A, axonotomesis. Option B, neurotomesis. Option C, neuropraxia. Option D, traction injury. And the answer is. Option C, neuropraxia. Moving to our seventh question, in which position the finger deformity of Holtzman's ischemic contracture is corrected? Option A, wrist dorsiflexion. Option B, wrist plantar flexion. Option C, wrist neutral position. Option D, all of the above. And the answer is option A, wrist dorsiflexion. Moving to our eighth question, in port spine the disease starts in the option A, intervertebral disc; option B, anterior vertebral margin; option C, posterior vertebral margin; option D, paravertebral soft tissue. And the answer is option B, anterior vertebral margin. Moving to our ninth question. Paraplegia tuberculosis is common in which of the region of the spine? Option A, lumbar spine. Option B, thoracic spine. Option C, cervical spine. Option D, sacral spine. And the answer is option B, thoracic spine. Moving to our tenth question, gastrocnemius recession is done most commonly. Option A, cerebral palsy. Option B, residual polio. Option C, CTEV, congenital telepoeconovirus. Option D, atherosclerosis multiplexa. And the answer is option C, CTEV, congenital telepoeconovirus. Moving to our eleventh question, in anterior dislocation, which nerve is commonly injured? Option A, musculocutaneous. Option B, radial. Option C, upper or lower subscapular. Option D, axillary. And the answer is option D, axillary. Moving to our twelfth question, in the telepus equinovarus fort is option A, plantar flexion and inversion. Option B, dorsiflexion and inversion. Option C, plantar flexion and inversion. Option D, dorsiflexion and inversion. And the answer is option C, plantar flexion and inversion. 
moving to our 13th question airless movement of affected in the tb hip option a flexion option b extension option c adduction option d abduction and the answer is option a flexion moving to our 14th question airless pathomechanical changes in oa osteoarthritis option a loss of water option b fibrillation option c decreased collagen option d decreased hyaluronic acid level and the answer is option b fibrillation moving to our 15th question which of the following is a known risk factor for development of a disc capsulitis of the shoulder option e epilepsy option b diputrans contracture option c diabetes mellitus option d renal disease and the answer is option c diabetes mellitus moving to our 16th question in infant assessment burlos test is positive this is an indication of option a hip instability option b knee instability option c shoulder instability option d wrist instability and the answer is option a hip instability moving to our 17th question the ganglion is most commonly seen at option a dorsal aspect of the wrist option b volar aspect of the wrist option c over the forehead option d dorsum of the tongue and the answer is option a dorsal aspect of the wrist moving to our 18th question cop's angle is generally measured in option a kyphosis option b scoliosis option c lordosis option d lateral flexion and the answer is option b scoliosis moving to our 19th question earliest sign of waltzman ischemic contracture option a pain option b obliteration of the radial pulse option c pale and cold hand option d paresthesia and paralysis and the answer is option a pain moving to our 20th question the deformity of polisman's tip indicates option a high brachial plexus injury option b low brachial plexus injury option c hips paralysis option d subscapularis paralysis and the answer is option c hips paralysis moving to our 21st question a march fracture is most frequently results from option a direct trauma option b jumping from a height option c muscle fatigue from prolonged walking option d use of high heel shoes and the answer is option c muscle fatigue from prolonged walking moving to our 22nd question the pulled elbow indicates option a dislocation of the elbow joint option b subluxation of the elbow joint option c dislocation of the radial head option d subluxation of the radio ulnar joint and the answer is option c dislocation of the radial head moving to our 23rd question which of the following is considered to be the primary stabilizer of the knee to external rotation option a anterior cruciate ligament acl option b posterior cruciate ligament pcl option c lateral collateral ligament lcl option d medial collateral ligament mcl and the answer is option c lateral collateral ligament moving to our 24th question post traumatic avascular necrosis of the scaphoid is most common in option a proximal pole of the scaphoid option b wrist of the scaphoid option c distal pole of the scaphoid option d none of the above and the answer is option a proximal pole of the scaphoid 
Moving to our 25th question. The most pain sensitive structure in the joint is the option A bone end, option B articular cartilage, option C joint capsule, option D synovial membrane. And the answer is option C joint capsule so that's all for today if you need clarification for any of the question do comment in the comment box I'll be back with part 2 of this series tomorrow so please subscribe to this channel thank you